Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am Brandon Wynn and this is Critical Failure. So, I have discussed uh, for maybe the past couple uh, videos that I was going to be doing something on the Norse Pantheon. So, uh, this is going to be the first god of the Pantheon, Aegir. Uh, probably going to be doing this somewhat uh, alphabetically. And if you don't know Aegir, he is the god of the sea, and uh, to what it seems like sometimes sailing and stuff like that. So, if you're wondering why I'm making a lot of his uh, character stats about that, then you'll finally know why. But, I've seen how uh, other people have made him in their own homebrew stuff as like uh, neutral good or chaotic neutral, stuff like that. For me, I don't really see him like that. I see him as more like lawful neutral, like such like that, so my kind of agar for this playthrough, uh, he's not going to be extremely important for my campaign, he's going to be there and he's going to be optional to be uh, talked to and stuff like that if the players would like to somehow visit these gods, so let's get right into the video. So the stats on agar, he has an AC of 23, so pretty pretty dang hard to hit as it is. He is a size large and he has a, a medium HP count of 367. He has a speed of 40 and a swim speed of 60 so yeah he's going to be in his own element so he's more than likely going to be surrounded in water. His strength is a 25, his dexterity is 18. Uh, he has a constitution of 24 and intelligence of 20, wisdom of 18 and charisma of 18. So if you don't know the uh, modifiers of that, uh, strength would be a plus 7, dex would be a plus 4, con would be a plus 7, intelligence a plus 5, wisdom and charisma would be a plus 4. Uh, his saves would be uh, strength, constitution, intelligence, and charisma, and to which strength would be a plus 15. He has a uh, proficiency bonus of plus 8, by the way. Constitution would be a plus 15, intelligence would be a plus 13, and charisma would be a plus 12. Uh, his resistances are fire, necrotic, and cold. So for, if you don't know what resistance is, you, you get half damage on that. Damage immunity, so no damage whatsoever. Uh, he'd have immunity against poison, slash and piercing, and bludgeoning of non-magical weapons, and acid thunder and radiant. And he would have uh, condition immunity of poisoned, exhaustion, frightened, and charmed. So, you can't flirt with him, you can't scare him, he can't be literally made tired, and he can't be poisoned. Uh, he has true sight to 120 feet and a passive perception of 20. Um, he can speak all languages, and he has telepathy with uh, a, like marine life and stuff like that to 120 feet. He has magic resistance where uh, he has advantage on saving throws against spells and other magical effects. And he has magic weapons, so essentially any weapon he picks up or any weapon he uses are considered magical. He's a god, so that makes sense. And he has a legendary resistance, so three times a day, if he fails a save, he can just automatically pass that. And I gave him something called Home Turf, so whenever he's in the sea or something like that, into which more than likely, if you use these stats, he will be fighting in the sea. Uh, he gets to heal 3d10 plus 35 HP at the start of every turn. Like your turn, your opponent's turn, like every turn there is, like, he will heal that much, and he is, there's a possibility of killing him, but it's going to be pretty hard, and 35 plus 3d10, the maximum of 65, that's pretty, pretty big. Now, uh, for his actions, he has multi-attack, I think I gave it everything here, multi-attack, so, like all the gods, but uh, he has a long sword, to which he has a plus 15 to hit, a reach of 5 feet. Uh, depending on how you want to make it, you could say he has a reach of 10 feet. I might change it to 10 feet. And uh, it's a naturally a 2d4, uh, I mean 2d10, it's a uh, plus 5. Uh, so however you would like to do that. So he has that plus on top of that 3d8 rating and damage. So... It'd be pretty brutal to get hit by that, and that's slashing. 
uh, gave them something called Oceanic Surge to where it's a range of 300 feet. It's essentially like a uh, torrent rave, wave, sorry, and uh, it's 48 bludgeoning damage and a target creature must make a DC deck save or be knocked prone essentially. So it, it's uh, a wave of water that hurts you and forces you to be prone if you fail it. And you're in water, so that's it. That's pretty bad if your DM decided to give you disadvantage. Now for legendary actions, uh, he has something called Tidal Wave. This is essentially uh, the Oceanic Surge, but worse. Uh, it's a range of 150 feet, and it's in a cone. It does 10d12 damage, and all creatures, like his own creatures also, and your characters or your... Uh, player characters have to make a DC save of 25 or be knocked prone and if it succeeded they take half damage so that's a little bit of a really cool thing because this is a lot of damage that you're gonna be good so that will take three actions because he gets three legendary actions uh, his long sword to which it's the same stats as I said before so but I'll re say it so it's plus plus 15 to hit uh, reach of five feet could be 10 depending on how you want to do it and it's 2d 10 plus 5 and 3d Eight radiant damage and it's slashing and that's uh, he has something called call for uh, assistance and that's uh, two actions his long sword is one and this call for assistance is basically him calling upon uh, his uh, iron uh into which uh, if I'm using the right term it's uh, soldiers that died and went to Valhalla and stuff like that and 3d4 sharks I will be making iron Yar, uh stats here soon after I finish with the gods and goddesses to which I think I'm on hella now so yeah I, I don't have a lot I'm doing like stats and then I'm doing like a brief summary of these guys but yeah his followers are like sailors like anyone dealing with like the sea fishermen sentient fish you know uh, mer folk uh, tritons sea elves the weird like fish things that can literally turn anything to a god if they believe hard enough like those things uh and the such but i gave i tried giving him a really cool physical description so you know he's dressed in vibrant blues and greens and imagine like a seaweed uh battle skirt of some sort like something that you would imagine from skyrim just made of seaweed like knitted together and it's really hard but it's flexible and uh his uh, upper torso is covered in like really sharp but really sturdy coral and that's uh, like deep blue and green and it's meant to help him blend in in the uh, water and I kind of tried to stay away from like a Aquaman type of stance so yeah but that's essentially what Ager is so far and he's I put him as lawful neutral to reiterate that and his two, two I almost forgot this I had to read this but his sword is essentially like a mysterious uh, color it's like it's a weird color that shifts between multiple uh, different things and it's not made of anything that's noted it's heavier than most weapons so I would say it's like 20 pounds and it you would have to have a really high strength to carry it in one hand it and like his other things uh, like his gauntlets his bracers and boots are all made by Odin but his swords are made by dwarves and it's a it's a mysterious element like you know it's not iron it's not steel you know it's not mithril or anything like it's something that's unheard of so yeah that's a uh, Ager for you guys if you want to uh, have um, stats written down I'll happily do that email me uh, or comment down below or even better you can comment in the Instagram uh, critical dot failure that we have and I can send that over that much easier um, like comment subscribe you know that's gonna be very helpful tell us what you uh, would like us to do I have some videos already done I mean I still have a lot of gods to go through I still have the Greek and the Egyptian to go through and that's gonna take me a long time I still have demons that I'm trying to do uh, I'm gonna be revealing my home group homebrew creature here soon and I'm probably gonna be putting stats out with that so 
yeah, I'm making my own demon and his followers. So, yeah, I have some content already. So, yeah. Uh, that's Hager for you guys. Uh, that's God of the Sea for the Norse mythology. So, yeah. See you guys.